again and welcome. Apologies for not having a video up. Um, well, it must be two weeks now. The reason being I've been on holiday and I was up in North Yorkshire in the great little town of Whitby and had a fantastic time. We really did enjoy it up there, as we do every year. While I was in Whitby, um, I had the opportunity to go up to Snainton Sawmills and the resident Turner there is a guy by the name of David Lowe and I took the opportunity to go up there and I uh, met David. I met his uh, a good friend of his and he also helps David out with his um, demonstrations and shows, a guy called Vince Lees and uh, we had a great time and somebody else unfortunately joined us there, none other than the great Glyn Senior of Yorkshire Grip fame. Um, and as far as I'm concerned, we had a great time, and it was great to uh, to meet David uh, again. I met him in UKIS very briefly, and it was great to meet Vince. And uh, I think they're well. I know they're both going to the Harrogate show, as is Glyn, So we'll all meet up again in about four or five weeks' time. While I'm on the subject of the Harrogate show, um, as I've said before, I will be on the Simon Hook stand for the full three days, the Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Really, really looking forward to it, going to have a, a good laugh as well as uh, get the opportunity to meet a lot of people that I've not met in person before. And uh, if you're going to the Harrogate show, don't forget to come along and say hello to us. So that's the Harrogate show, um, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So I look forward to seeing you all there. The chance of me getting a turning video out in the next few days is pretty slim. The reason being is while I was away on a holiday, as you know, you get lots of time to think, no time to do any lathe work or any videos or anything. Um, I, I wanted for quite a while to move my lathe away from the wall. And what I'll do is I'll just change the camera angle and explain to you what I'm intending to do. And there's quite a bit involved. It might not seem a lot, but it's going to take me a little while. So I'll change the camera. So in a nutshell, what I'm doing now, I've moved the lathe out from, it used to come here, and I will be turning, obviously, facing the wall, which is quite restricting in, in a number of ways. And I've never been happy stretching over the lathe to get my lathe tools, but that's not the, the main reason by any, any means. I'll be getting rid of this little uh, shelf here, and leave this shelf on, and I will have plenty of room. I've obviously got to turn the lathe around, so the headstock is up here. Um, all the electrics for the hard wiring are up here as well, so I, I've got to do some rewiring. Also, I've got to think about things like the um, extractor, for the dust extractor for the sanding on the lathe, and also the um, compressor for the air hose. Um, I want nothing behind here that I can trip over, etc. So I've got to think about things like that. I'll be moving the whole unit up to about here, I think, which is then going to give me enough room to get through here, but I'll most probably be cutting this um, piece off here so that I've got good access. And moving it up here gives me access to the bench without having to um, sort of walk around one way. The problem is that obviously with it spun around like that, all the wiring's got to be changed and it's going to have to sort of be coming from the ceiling, I think, so that I don't actually trip over it. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to organise that, but obviously um, you'll see it when I've done it. And the main reason is that it means that I'm facing outwards. It's a much nicer aspect. I can turn around and pick my tools up as I can now, so nothing there changes at all. But it also gives me a, a much more flexibility when I'm uh, making videos, although it'll, you know, the headstock will be up here, so I'll be turning here, I still have a lot of room there that I can, I can come in and, and do shots from what I term to be a spectator's point of view. And it also gives me room here to do close-up shots and what have you. So I'm really looking forward to getting that done. And one of the main things is that I won't have to far, so far to walk to the grinder because I'll be, I'll be turning here, and all I've got to do is literally. Give it a quick grind. Brilliant. Anyway, we'll see how that goes. So that's the main reason why I won't be doing a turning video for a little while. We'll go back over to the, the chair. The, the other thing that, again, you might not notice, the camera is like the same distance from me as it normally is, and you can see a lot more of me, unfortunately. Um, it has a much wider field of view now. 
very, very fortunate. I went to a camera shop and um, for the princely sum of £20, I got a wide angle uh, screw on lens for the front of the camera, which gives me a much uh, greater field of view, which is, which is excellent. Um, it means it won't be quite so necessary now because I'm moving the lathe around, but nevertheless, it still has its advantages. Um, so, before I go, uh, some stickers. Stuart Farini very kindly sent me one of his stickers, and uh, Stuart, I will put a, uh, a link down below to Stuart's YouTube channel uh, and Facebook page. I have done this before with Stuart. Uh, he's, a, he's a really great guy and he has some wonderful content and what I like about his videos he, he goes through his methods of how he achieves his, his colouring and his texturing etc. So a very interesting channel to go across and take a look at, that's Stuart Farini. And also a guy called Norman J McLaren, very posh sticker. Thanks for that Norman and again I'll put the relevant links to any social media sites etc that Nor Norman has. Um, I really appreciate that Norman, I'll go up on the sticker board, thank you very much indeed. And also Chris Warman, uh, Paw Print Designs, um, and I'll put a link down in the description to um, Chris's YouTube channel. He's only just started with his YouTube channel, so go across there and subscribe and support him. And he sent me a couple of stickers too. Thanks for that, Chris. I appreciate it. And that too, they too will go up on the on the sticker wall. And last but by no means least, um, guy that I've known for quite a while via Facebook, Stephen Gibson, and I had the pleasure of meeting him up at UKIS as well. And he sent me this: a dragon. It's not just for Christmas. And Mike Walt uh, pyroed in there as well. Um, I'm really chuffed with that, Steve. That was a lovely thought, and thank you very much indeed. And that will go up. It'll either go up on the wall or maybe on the lathe. Because the problem with turning the lathe around, of course, the stickers I got on here will be facing the front. So we'll have to sort something out there. Okay, I think that about wraps it up. Sorry for the, the babbling on. Um, just wanted to let you know I'm still here. And uh, we'll be back with a turning video as soon as possible. Thanks very much indeed for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you very soon. Cheers now.